this is Boki and today I'm going to be doing my top five Wednesday on characters that I would not want to trade places with. The first one is almost too easy I guess. I feel like this actually probably counts for this is like almost more broadly just like every protagonist of a YA fantasy novel but I'm gonna just go with Katniss. Um, I would not want to trade places with her. I would not want my life to be in so much danger. I have no need for that kind of adventure. I am quite happy to have made it through my teens in early 20s without needing to save the world. Um, but like having the burdens of the whole world survival slash dystopia placed on my shoulders. Again, this goes for any white protagonist. I wouldn't want to be Harry Potter, wouldn't want to be, I don't know, the girl from Divergent, any of these people. Nope, not for me. I'm, I would be perfectly happy being a side character in those books. Uh, so next up is Mildred Pierce from Mildred Pierce. Um, so Mildred Pierce, I can't, sorry, I don't really have another way to say it. Uh, so Mildred Pierce is a noir uh, novel um, set in California. Um, basically it's about this woman, Mildred, um, who builds up her own pie business and then kind of watches it slowly crumble away thanks to a lot of different things like a kind of an effective husband, a terrible boyfriend, an even worse daughter. Um, yeah, I mean, her life, like, she's incredibly capable, but um, the way that people kind of leech off of her causes a lot of issues. And yeah, I just wouldn't want that. I mean, I think that's self-evident. You wouldn't want to go through a life where you build a ton of stuff up and watch it get taken away by people who may not value you or your work. Number three is Mark Watney from The Martian. I just don't really want to make up on Mars one day. I, yeah, and I would not survive. I like. I thought part of what I liked about the book, I had some issues with it, um, which I talked about in my August wrap up, um, mostly with the writing. Um, but I think the book did a really good job of kind of explaining how a guy like this could survive, both like the practical realities of like day to day, how do you use your own poop to grow potatoes, um, but also like kind of just the psychological things that are necessary and I don't think that would happen for me. I think I would make an effort. I think maybe I would try for like a day or two and then I'd just be like, you know, whatever. I will be the first person to die on Mars. That will be what I'm known for. And I would just kind of leave it at that. I, I, yeah, I actually think that's what would happen. So no, wouldn't want that. Um. Number four is a uh, comic. Um, this is going to be Hawkeye, the Matt Fraction Hawkeye, who basically just wakes up every day to the worst day of his life. Everything goes wrong. His apartment building is like under siege. Everything, like he has to take care of everything. Like, yeah, just anything that can go wrong will probably go wrong for Hawkeye. I don't really feel a need to trade places with him. He can kind of handle that better than I can, I think. Maybe, I don't know. He doesn't really seem to be handling it that well either. Um, I'm pretty fine with us having distinct lives that don't overlap. And last, um, this isn't, like the other ones are all people who have terrible things happen to them. This is a person who has to make terrible decisions that I really have no desire to do. This is Dumbledore from Harry Potter. And the further away I get from like my initial reading of the Harry Potter books, the more I realize that Dumbledore makes him like terrible kind of abusive decisions like leaving Harry Potter with the Dursleys or basically preparing Harry for his death and I like I have a lot of judgments about that obviously this is fictional but I can't say that if I was for some reason in this fictional scenario that I would or would not make those same choices I do know that make, having to make those choices would drive me crazy and I am super glad that I did not have to. It seems like all the decisions he made kind of worked out so I guess you can't be too angry but I don't know. I guess those are the cards that got laid out and that he was dealt and that's how he used them. Um, I'm just glad I didn't have to be the one to do that. Would you want to be any of these characters? I mean I guess like I would want to be capable of growing potatoes on Mars like Mark Watney. I would love to be capable of owning a pie business like Mildred Pierce. I'd like to even be capable of like, I don't know, magic, like Dumbledore. But I, I, I think there are other characters in these books that I would rather trade places with. Well, no one in Mildred Pierce. Yeah. Anyway, 
with that, bye.